Unfortunate, man. You heard about these radio stations? They not even playing Diddy music no more, yo. Because you got to realize this, man. People, people that advertise, they don't want to be a part of something that may have been sex trafficking, paleophilia. They didn't say anything about paleophilia, thank God. But with this sex trafficking, this Me Too shit, the advertisers don't want their advertisement in those slots where his music play. Remember when they took all Bill Cosby, the Huxtables off the air? Now all of a sudden it comes back on the air? It's the same thing. They don't want his music to play in the same time slot that they're doing advertisement at. So what they do, they take it off the air. It's a damn shame that his name will go down as the laughing stock of hip hop. That's probably one of the worst. I, I can't say anybody who have fell from grace, even though if he don't lose all his money and everything like that, his fall from grace will be harder than anybody we would know in hip hop. Anybody we've known in hip hop, his fall for grace would be worse than anybody. Because he would be the laughing stock. And everybody would be doing comedy skits. And you got to realize, even before all that shit started, Dave Chappelle was one of the best who did them. Yeah, unfortunate, man. Um, I just feel bad for all the artists that made timeless records over there, man. They got to, you know, get punished in a sense. He knew it was coming down the thing. That's why he gave him their publishing. <laughs> I, yo, my man, listen to me, bro. They have, what happens is, is this, bro. All these big companies, and this happened to athletes also, they have investigators. These investigators are paid to investigate you whether you're doing something or not. Do you understand that? The NBA have investigators on players. Whether they doing something or not, and they report back to the commissioner. Hey, yo, what you call was seen at this club, and they were doing this and doing this and doing that. And you don't even know you being investigated for nothing. But that's what they paid to do. These companies who give Diddy two, a hundred, three hundred million dollars a year to market they sh they have investigators. So he don't bring back no bad name on the company. They had investigated him and they told him he already knew a lot of this shit was coming down. That's why they pay these people, bro. They got in touch with his publicist and some stuff like that. Yo, your boy don't look good. If he don't straighten this out, you know, we might not have to pull back, call different people. Yo, uh, you notice that he started talking about Cassie way before she came out with the lawsuit. And hit him with the lawsuit. With two other women or whatever like that, he would, I don't know if he was with Kim, but he was with Young Miami and stuff like that, and gave her a shout out at the Grammys. You think he didn't know that? You didn't think he didn't know what's coming with the lawsuit? What was going down? Three to six months before we even knew anything about shit. So let me go get the, let, let's, let me go get them they publishing back. It'll look like I'm doing something good, but I'm just, I'm giving it back because I know that shit ain't gonna be worth nothing no way. <laughs> but say hello to the bad guy <laughs> I'm the bad guy in this